next on our special Christmas episode of Lion TV. We have Sophia and Marley with all your pop culture updates on hot topics and star on Cersei Schools and their help with homeless kids. And me, Jacob Showy, here to give you your sports updates before going into winter break. All that and more, Lion TV starts now. Christmas, Cersei High. Welcome to a special holiday episode of Wine TV. I'm Lexi Farron. And I'm Nevaeh Treat. Let's jump right into some of those announcements. Congratulations to Cersei FFA members Peyton Oxner and Chandler Crossan for their big wins at the Arkansas Eastern District Leadership Development Contest in Jonesboro. They will both advance to the state competitions this spring. Dawson's will be on campus today to deliver any rings that have already been ordered. Students will be called to the office to pick up their rings. To place or pay for an order, please go to Dawson's.com. If you have lost anything this semester, make sure to stop by the West Office to look at the lost and found basket for any items that you may have misplaced. Any items not picked up will be discarded by December 21st. Not to ruin the Christmas spirit, but if you have to take semester tests, here's the testing schedule. First test will start at 7.50 until 9.10, and then the second test will be from 9.15 to 10.35. Our first test day will be Friday, December 16th for first and second period. Our second will be Monday, December 19th, third and fourth period. Tuesday, December 20th will be our fifth and sixth period test, and Wednesday, December 21st will be our seventh and eighth period test. Hey, Nevea, since it's the holiday season, do you know of any good ways that the community here could give back? I actually heard that Star has a story on the food drive here in Cersei for the homeless. Those who dedicated time and effort towards helping others in need are rare and few to come by, but Michael Pfeiffer helps run an amazing organization dedicated to just that. In 2014, me and my best friend Josh Stewart, we took over a nonprofit. It's a homeless nonprofit. We've got a camp that we, that we uh, can take people in. We do a background and a drug test on everyone. In most cases, we can help folks and we'll give them a tent, sleeping bag, and pillow. And we've got a property for them to, to put it on. Uh, encouraging them to finish school. Sure. Yeah. Anyone can get involved as the organization is always looking for donations. It also helps to prevent perfectly good food from going to waste. We wanted opportunities for um, the community to make food for, for the people. The search school system uh, has been really good. Uh, started uh, giving us the leftover foods they've got. I'm glad to see that because uh, we can use it. And, uh, and there's not any waste, and I, th I think that's a great thing. I think it's a great idea. In a cafeteria or even restaurants, you'll always have some leftover food, and it's always disturbing for me to end up throwing it in the trash or anything like that and just going to waste. That's when I reached out to Mike at Mission Machine and uh, just wanted to see about what we could do to help him out. How was it for the Thanksgiving week? Uh, busy. This is heavy. Yeah, busy. Mission Machine is a heavily community-based organization and needs its help to keep going. On nights that we don't have anybody on the list, we end up having to pay for food and we're community funded only. Mike's at Mission Machine, he's been doing all this and getting things, I just love to be just a small piece in that puzzle. People donate um, food, we, we ask for non-perishables. We try to give him as uh, much canned goods and shelf-stable product as possible. Anyone who can get involved with Mission Machine should. Just a single donation can make a huge difference. I think the biggest thing is reaching out. Uh, there's different ways. Facebook, they've got their website. They can reach out to Mike. If it wasn't for these people that uh, just giving their heart and dedicating the time that they give, uh, there's no way that we could have gotten as far as we have and continue to go as far as we're going. Mission Machine is a great group of people who have committed themselves to helping those in need. Those who can help, should help. Now, back to the news desk. That's amazing. I'm happy we're using our holiday season for giving. Definitely going to make some donations. Me too. But before that, let's get into some festive national news. A choppy day of trading on Wall Street ended with stocks broadly lower Friday after a new report showed that inflation was slowing less than hoped for just days before. Federal Reserve officials are expected to raise interest rates again. The U.S. government reported that prices 
paid at the wholesale level were 7.4% higher in November than a year earlier. The inflation has made this holiday season a lot harder for many Americans with gift giving prices increasing. The eruption of the Mauna Loa volcano on Hawaii's Big Island continues to ease, so the mountain's first flare-up in nearly 40 years might soon end. The eruption is contained entirely with the volcano's cinder cone. The U.S. Geological Survey said a small amount of light remained visible at night through a vent in the cone, but the channels below that vent appeared drained of lava. A bunch of Santa lookalikes took the ski slopes to spread some seasonal cheer on Sunday. More than 300 jolly old Santas, all dressed in red, dashed down the mountain together with white beards and Santa hats flapping in the breeze at the Sunday River Ski Resort in Maine. A skiing Grinch and a skiing Christmas tree joined the party as well. It wasn't exactly a winter wonderland as there was only little natural snow, but the snow-making machines at Sunday River produced enough of the fluffy stuff for the annual tradition. Santa Sunday has grown in popularity over more than two decades, raising 7500 this year for our local charity. I'm so ready to get into the holiday spirit. Do you have any good Christmas movies to watch? No, I don't, but I was wondering the same thing. Let's send it to Paige and Emily to get some good recommendations. Well, it's that time of year again. Mariah Carey has defrosted and the world is friendly again. And in celebration, here's our special holiday episode of Two Ticks and a Flick. You all know what time it is. Let's answer the trivia question from last time. If you watched the Marvel movies in chronological order, which movie would you watch first? And the answer is Captain America The First Avenger. I'm sure all of our Marvel fans knew this one from the beginning. Well, let's get started. Not everyone in the world is friendly this time of year, so this episode is all about our favorite Scrooges. Let's get into all the best Scrooge movies. Starting off, we have the classic Disney Christmas Carol. Though London awaits the joyful arrival of Christmas, miserly Ebenezer Scrooge, played by Jim Carrey, thinks it's all humbug. Later, Scrooge encounters the ghost of his late business partner, who warns that three spirits will visit him that night. The ghost takes Scrooge on a journey through the past, present, and future in the hope of transforming his bitterness. Jim Carrey really pulls off this role, as he does with most of his roles, and as cringy as the animation is, it actually works for this 2009 film. And next we have Scrooge. In this modern take on Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol, Frank Cross, played by Bill Murray, is a widely successful television executive whose cold ambition and commercial nature has driven away the love of his life, Claire Phillips. Bahama. But after firing a staff member, Elliot Loudermilk, on Christmas Eve, Frank is visited by a series of ghosts who gives him a chance to reevaluate his actions and the right and wrongs of his past. Honestly, of all the modern day adaptions they could have done for Christmas Carol, this is the best we could have gotten. The performances definitely make the movie an iconic 80s Christmas movie. God bless everyone. There are way too many Christmas Carol movies to talk about now, so here's the titles of a few more good movies. The Man Who Invented Christmas, An All Dogs Christmas Carol, Mr. Magoo's Christmas Carol, Ba Hum Duck Looney Tunes Christmas, The Muppets Christmas Carol, and Dennis the Menace Christmas. Not to mention the countless animated Christmas carols that have come out. Lastly, let's talk about a brand new movie, Spirited. A musical version of Charles Dickens' story, a miserly misanthrope who's taken on a magical journey. This film stars Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell and came out on November 11th. Out of all the people on the planet, murderers, people who do gender reveal parties, I'm the guy you're gonna haunt. Make sure you check out all these grouchy characters and their sweet endings. For now, let's take a look at our trivia question. What actress's name, who voices Princess Elsa in the Frozen films, did John Travolta botch at the 2014 Oscars? Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal, and a Happy New Year. Thanks, Paige and Emily, but all the Scrooge talks make me nervous. I'm really hoping there are any Scrooges in my family that are going to ruin Christmas this year. Me too. But Lexi, you want to hear a joke? Where does the snowman get their weather report? Mm, I don't know. The winter net. Wow, good one, Nevea. But around these parts, we get our weather from Jordan Bowman. Let's hear it, Jordan. What's up, Cersei? Today our weather is going to be a high of 55 with AM showers, rain at a 35% chance, winds at southwest 5 miles per hour, and your humidity at 81%, and your sun rose at 7.07 AM. On to tonight. Tonight will be a low of 33 with clear skies, rain at a 3% chance, winds west 7 miles per hour, Humidity at 71% and your sunset at 4.55 p.m. On to the almanac. For the last seven days, your high has been 69, your low has been 42. Your monthly average of precipitation has been 4.91 inches and your month today is 1.92 inches. On to the five cast. 
On Thursday, it'll be sunny with a high of 46, a low of 29 with a 2% chance of rain. On Friday, it will be mostly sunny with a high of 44, a low of 27, and a 3% chance of rain. On Saturday, it will be sunny with a high of 43 and a low of 26 with a 12% chance of rain. On Sunday, it will be mostly sunny, sunny with a 45 as your high and a 31 as your low with a 10% chance of rain. And on Monday, there will be AM showers with a 44 as your high, a 23 as your low with a 47% chance of rain. Well, it looks like there won't be any snow this winter break. Forget the snow. All I want for Christmas is a warm cup of milk and some cookies. Lexi, what's for lunch? For lunch today, we'll be having cheese and pepperoni pizza, cheeseburger, french fries, crispy chicken sandwich, applesauce, and milk. Make sure to thank our amazing lunch ladies for the hard work they put into our lunches. For sure. Well, it looks like we are just in the Saint nick of time to see what the Holiday Hot Topics has in store for us. I can't wait. Let's send it to Marley and Sophia. Everybody hands in the air! Good mythical morning, Starcy High. I'm Marley Price. And I'm Sophia Neighbors. Welcome back to Hot Topics. We're here to tell you what's trending in and outside of SHS. So, what's hot, Sophia? I'm so happy that you asked, Marley. First off, Merry Christmas. Merry what now? Sophia, it's Christmas, not Quizmos. No? Haven't you heard the word? Camila Cabello legally changed the pronunciation of Christmas to Quizmos. Oh, so that's what she was doing last summer? I never knew what Sean was talking about. Moving on. Jenna Ortega stars in the new Netflix series titled Wednesday, alongside breakout star Hunter Doohan, who is actually from Fort Smith. The show follows Wednesday Adams as she navigates a boarding school, a love triangle, and a murder on the loose. The 2022 People's Choice Awards commenced last Tuesday, and personally, my most favorite award was Mr. Beast winning social media star. I love me some Jimmy Donaldson. Speaking of Jimmy's, my Jimmy won the nighttime talk show award, as he should. Hey, less important, late night talk show host Jimmy Kimmel. How does losing taste, huh? That's all you are, a big fat loser. Hey Marley, what did you ask for for Christmas? I asked for five lobster bits. Me personally, I asked for two pepper steak. Hey Zoop Eatery, what did you ask for? An extra large white chicken chili. Well, I'm interested in seeing what our student body asked for this year. So let's send it over and see what they have to say. For Christmas, I want a date with Sawyer Neal. I want a Taco Bell gift card. For Christmas, I want Coach Clinton. For Christmas, I want a big, no wait, giant check from Student Television Network worth $5,000. To make a good grade on Doc's final. That would be a Christmas miracle. A life. I want a date with both of the hosts of Hot Topics. For Christmas, I want a better immune system. This Christmas, I would really love a short brunette to ruin my life. For Christmas, I want more gum to annoy Mr. Bowman in the studio because I always forget to spit it out. I want to really find myself and... For Christmas, I was really wanting to kiss him in the mistletoe. Nice. I hope everyone gets what they want. Me too. Well, we won't see you guys until next semester, so we hope you have a fun and safe Christmas break. Until next year. I'm so glad I'm caught up on all the latest pop culture news, but they made me wonder, Nevaeh, what do you want for Christmas this year? All I want for Christmas this year is Argentina to win the World Cup. Let's see what Jacob can tell us about their chances. Good morning, Cersei High School. Let's get into these sports updates before we hit this well-needed and most importantly, well-deserved Christmas break. Starting off in local sports, the Cersei Lions boys and girls basketball teams have a game tomorrow where the girls will travel to Cabot to take on the Panthers, while the boys will take on the Newport Greyhounds here at the high school. The boys look to improve their record from 7-6 to 8-6 before the break, with the girls looking to do the same to improve their record from 7-4 to 8-4 with a win against the Panthers. The Cersei Lions Mario Kart team for eSports will be competing for the Arkansas State Championship tomorrow as they travel to Conway to take on Rogers where they hope to go completely undefeated for the season and come home as state champions. They were in the same position last year where they fell just short to Fort Smith losing the match 3-1. We were able to catch an interview with Mario Kart player and sophomore Jordan Jones to see how he and the team have prepared for the big game. 
you know, it was, I think it was pretty expected this year. All the games that we played, we had we built a really good chemistry with each other. So every night we would probably get on and practice like two or three hours. Everybody's, you know, just really ready for state, and we have a we real, all really think that we have a good chance of winning it this year. Now let's go into some national news. Where in the World Cup semifinals are going on, where we get to see who goes to the 2022 FIFA World Cup finals. Later today at 1 p.m., we will see Morocco go up against France to see who will advance to the big game. So make sure to check up on the scores throughout the day. In the MLB, many free agent signings have been happening recently, including AL home run king and MVP outfielder Aaron Judge signing a nine-year, $360 million contract with the Yankees, Cy Young Award winner and future Hall of Famer Justin Verlander signing a two-year, $86 million deal where he will play in the Queens for the New York Mets, and finally, all-star shortstop Trey Turner signs an 11-year, $300 million deal with the reigning NL champions, Philadelphia Phillies. With it only being December, though, there is still plenty of time for MLB teams to make a big splash in free agency before spring training starts in February. In college football, bowl games will continue to be played throughout the coming weeks, with the more anticipated ones being the Peach Bowl, where we see the number four Ohio State Buckeyes take on the number one seeded Georgia Bulldogs, and the Fiesta Bowl, where we see the number three ranked TCU Horned Frogs take on the number two ranked Michigan Wolverines. The winner of these two bowl games will meet up on January 9th at SoFi Stadium to play in the 2023 National Championship game. Well, Cersei, that's all the sports updates I have for you this semester. I hope everyone makes the most of their Christmas break, and we can't wait to see you guys here back in January. Now back to the news desk with Lexi and Nevea. Thanks for all the sports updates, Jacob. Well, it looks like all the time we have for you today, Cersei. Make sure to click on that subscribe button on our YouTube channel at Cersei High Lion TV. And follow us on Twitter at Lion TV, Instagram at Cersei Lion TV, and on Facebook at Cersei High Lion TV. Signing off, I'm Nevaeh Tree. And I'm Lexi Farron. Have a wonderful winter break, Lions. We'll see you back here next semester. But as we leave, we will leave you with the sights and sounds of the Cersei Symphonic Band.